Now let's look at the application of subsurface scattering. And we'll do it to Impmon and see, see how it looks. Um, subsurface scattering is how light can enter a texture or a material and it bounces around within there. You can see like with this monkey coming through in the ears. Um, it's both in the top and from behind. Even something like this, this dragon. All right. Here's some examples in 3D CG. Here's the ears, probably in the skin a little bit. Um, in her hair, in her body, in his neck, and his nose, and his skin here. Let's apply the subsurface scatter to this character here. So let's just render it out. Now, subsurface scattering works best if you have it you can see a lot of the results if you have a light from behind all right so before we move on let's take this light so we have this this is the front light and let's duplicate it and let's move this light from behind and we can even give it kind of a stronger light. We can give it a two. It's a rim light. And let's see what happens with that rim light real quick. So now I have a rim light from behind. And you'll, you're going to see the effects, especially on the from here. You want to see it a little bit more. Let's push it. This so we can actually see a little, yeah. There we go. We can see a nice rim light from above. All right, so we got a little bit there. We got some specular going on there. We've got rim light from behind. All right, that's fine. Actually, I would lower the reflection, but. We'll do that later. All right, so how do we use a subsurface sh scatter shader? So far, we've been using MIA shaders the whole time. Now we're going to move to MISS. SSS is subsurface scanner, mental images, subsurface scanner, fast, simple shader. Um, skin shader is also good, but simple has just a few, couple things that it's just a little bit simpler. So let's start off by turning things off. Um, let's turn off the front weight. Let's make this black and make this zero. Front weight is the subsurface scanner from from in front. So if you have skin, you might want to turn this on. But if you but back is from the light that hit, uh, hits from behind. And I'm just going to turn this one off to zero. And I'm going to put the diffuse weight, this is the diffuse color, up to 1. And let's see what happens when I put this here. And I'm just going to render this one out first. So I basically have turned off almost everything. And so this is the diffuse only, right here. So white diffuse. Okay with a weight of 1 and we can actually turn off the specular also let's turn everything off and now let's build this up little by little so let's grab our color map that we already created head color I'm on head color add that in and let's see what happens here and we have our color there which is looking okay let's save this and now 
we can call impmon head miss. All right. We also want to turn uh, this was shininess. Let's turn shininess off for now. And let's add in the bump map file point one like before. Let's add in our bump map. Let's render that out. And see what it's looking like. All right. So we're seeing. Some nice bumps going on. We've got the nice bump around the eyes here. Okay, I still haven't done the face, the lips, but that's all right. Okay, so let's compare. You know, here's that one before, and this is this one. All right, so let's save this image also. No bump. Bump. All right, you can see it looks so much better. All right. Now, we've turned everything off, right? We've turned SSS 0, weight of 0, that's, that's that. SS color, weight, weight is how much that influences. Think of it as a percentage of how much it influences the, the lighting. So front is if the light is hitting from the front and back is from the light hitting from the back, all right? So let's start off with the back because it's the easiest to see. And let's make it red. And let's make the weight just 0.5. All right. Currently, the radius is at 10 and 10. And we'll just see what happens when we have 10 and 10. And you can see a very, very clear subsurface scattering effect happening. Um, I would say unless you want this guy to look like he's a lamp, this is way too much, but it's it's easy to see. So what are these numbers? Radius and depth. Depth is how deep it goes in. Radius is how much it bounces around. So let's change this to 1, and let's do depth of 3. And now let's see what happens. You can even save this and just compare. All right, so now we're getting, of course, we're getting more in the tips and less here because the depth of the tips will be less than up above. So we're getting a little bit of highlights here. I like this. If we compare this to no subsurface scattering, let's save this. All right, for, so this is too much. Let's just delete the too much and let's compare this one to this one. So it just gives it a little bit more life, particularly in here, all right? So really, I would be happy with just like this, but let's just see what happens when we have subsurface scattering from the front. And just to test this out, let's turn off the back SSS to zero, and let's see what happens when I make the front and let's make the weighting 0.5 and the radius let's do 3 also no sorry 1 also so if you have a character that is actually flesh you might want to play with this a little bit more and you see here from the front because I have a light coming from the front it kind of adds in this overall lightness to it, which I feel is just way too strong. So what I would do is I might even go all the way to 0.1. Let's just render that out. Okay, so here 
we have a little bit of the effect going on. And let's, let's just compare this to no subsurface scattering. Save it. So this is back and this is no. Let's delete the back. So you can kind of see it just adds in that little bit of lightness in there. Just gives it a little bit in there, which is not bad. I actually like it. So let's go back and let's change our SSS here again. And what did we have before? Let's go to point five. And now we're combining the back SSS with the front SSS. Render this out. Too strong. Let's make our radius one, our depth one, sorry. There we go. Nice little highlight. that so this is what it looked like before something this is with a little bit of subsurface scattering in there um, actually leathered won't have very much of this but this is kind of a magical character but you can see how as you build more and more details in a character um, you can make it look nicer and nicer The last thing you might want to play with is specular color. Since we have the reflection map, we can actually go in here and bring in our reflection color. Save this. Now you see quite a strong reflection going on. Specular highlights. Combined with the subsurface scattering. And if we find that's too strong, we can change the shininess to maybe 100, and that will bring it down a lot. Now the shininess doesn't spread out as much. It just it's kind of like the glossiness, right? So now you'll see just small little highlights. So you're combining the specular map with subsurface scattering, bump map, and a color map. So this is how it looked before, and then as we're adding little bit by little bit. By breaking it down to step by step, just diffuse color, just front, just back, just specular color, just bump, well maybe not just bump, um, you can see and control exactly what's going on. You can imagine if we did this to the entire character, what's going to happen.